Welcome on in YouTube. I hope you're feeling all well today. I've really been looking forward to this video because this is one of my most anticipated games, Star Wars Outlaws. We get to experience the first ever open world Star Wars game. We got a female protagonist. It keeps on getting better. We get to explore distinct planets across the galaxy, both iconic and new, risk it all as K Vest, an emerging scoundrel seeking freedom and the means to start a new life. Fight, steal, and outwit your way through the galaxy crime syndicates as you join the galaxy's most wanted. Sounds serious. We need to join the galaxy's most wanted, not the world, the galaxy. Live the high stakes lifestyles of an outlaw with Nick's by your side. I love myself a sidekick. Turn any situation to your advantage. Fight with your blaster, overcome enemies with your stealth and gadgets or find the right moments to distract enemies and gain the upper hand. To make the journey more action packed, we get to pilot a ship called the Trailblazer as we engage in thrilling dogfights with the Empire and other foes. Find the right opportunities to chase, invade and attack to get the upper hand. I'm very intrigued to get into this one. So in today's video, we are covering performance, graphics, controls, definitely need to hit up the VRAM settings as this is a AAA game. The application I'll be using for this game will be Ubisoft. So let's get this application opened. Ubisoft is open and the frame counter is on. So let's jump in. We are in and we got like 56 to 54 frames per second. At the moment I'm on low settings. So if we hit start, Make our way down to settings, graphics. Once we're in graphics, we head to quality. At the moment, I'm on low and we will make our way up to ultra. So let's have a feel of how it feels in low settings. I'll get the sound on. Sound is on. All right, we are in low settings. It looks good, but this is low settings. You can see we have lost a bit of quality. The soundtrack is so reminiscent of the Star Wars franchise. I love the game so far. We are going to up the settings to medium, right down to settings. Graphics, medium, apply, back. All right, let's see how we're looking. Frames have dropped to 30 frames per second. Quality hasn't had a huge jump from low. I do like the cinematic feel of the game. <sighs> Busy night? You're not getting in, Kay. Club's already got enough rants. <laughs> really funny. <laughs> All right, we jumped up to 50 frames again on medium on settings. Next one, pal. Nice one, Nick. 
Right, we're gonna up the settings to higher settings. All right, settings. All the way to graphics. Apply higher settings. All right, straight away we drop down to about 42 frames. Who's that? Someone called me. Right, we've gone up to about 54 frames. I can see the quality has gotten better. Definitely gotten better. It's getting sharper the higher we go up. About 32 frames we've dropped. Right, let's try and run. So far, no lagging. V-Sync is on. In-game V-Sync. Yeah, easy. Get in your way. Right, we're gonna up the settings again. Ooh, what was that? And that was a bit of a fast forward. I'm not too sure what that was. That may have been the game catching up to itself using V-Sync. All right, we'll up the settings again. Right down to graphics. Ultra, let's go. I'm looking forward to see how this one turns out. Oh no. Oh no, we lost some sharpness. Wait, let's give it time to load. Or shade. No, 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 here we come, it's coming alive. It's coming alive. Maybe not. Something's happened to her hair, I'm not too sure. It's given detail. We lost a lot of frames. It's dropped down to that 20 frames. No, the quality has the quality has improved big time. So far, the settings I'm drawn to may be high. Maybe high. High settings might just be the one for me. Oops, what is happening here? Okay, cool. Honestly, for an open world Star Wars game, it's very solid so far. Definitely. The soundtrack gets me. The soundtrack's definitely the main part for me. Yeah, Ultra's fine. You just lose a lot of frames. I do not want to push too far into the game as the game is on its way out. It's going to be out soon. So I don't want to show too much. But this is Ultra settings. It's really good so far. If you do want to push the graphics even further, remember to up your VRAM. And the game actually lets you know how much VRAM you're using. So if you hit start, make your way down to settings. It lets you know on the right hand side, AMD radio and graphics VRAM is using up to 7G. That's what I selected. For you to do that, you need to hit Armory Crate. Once you're in Armory Crate, hit Performance. Make your way down to GPU Settings. And once you're in GPU Settings, you will see at the top here, Memory Assisted to GPU. By default, the ROG Ally sets aside 4G of its memory for the integrated graphics. You can adjust it according to your own needs. And as you can see, I got mine on 7G, as I showed you earlier on the Star Wars Outlaw settings. You could push it to 8G, but I'll keep mine on 7G. Hope this video has helped you today. Remember to like and subscribe, because it does help the algorithm and it helps push my videos out. So I really do appreciate the ones who have subscribed and liked my video. So I'm going to push on onto this intergalactic adventure. Let me continue on now. Yeah, have a great one. Peace, peace, peace.